What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Vince Warburton and this is VW Fitness. Today we are talking about the True Fierce Pre-Fierce Pre-Workout. Let's get to it. So before we get started with today's review, guys, just a quick heads up with this, a disclaimer. True Fierce did reach out to me and sent me this product for free. They did not give me a script. They didn't tell me anything to say. Uh, they pretty much just asked for a review, my honest take on this pre-workout, and uh, I got to give them a big shout out and thank you for sending it my way. Thank you very much. Uh, now, if you guys are new to the channel, we break down a supplement review like this, a pre-workout into four different parts. We're gonna talk about number one, price. Number two, the label ingredient breakdown. Thirdly, the taste, and lastly, we'll talk about the effects. We'll go downstairs. Uh, obviously, we're all kind of in a self-quarantine, uh, stay home, and all the gyms are closed. So we are doing a at-home workout. That's kind of what we've been doing the last two weeks. Um, and I'll be honest, it's pretty dang hard. It's pretty dang hard, and uh, I sweat a ton, and I do feel like I'm actually getting a, a pretty good workout, maintaining a lot of the muscle that uh, I've worked so hard to put on. So. All right, so let's just jump right into the price, guys. This comes in at $47 on their website, truefierce.com. Uh, th that is for 21 full servings. Kind of an interesting number there. Uh, I, I don't know if it's they're thinking maybe you work out five days a week uh, for, a, for a month and then maybe an extra day you take you know, another serving. Uh, but yeah, 21 servings in here. That comes out to be about $2.24. On my consistent pricing scale, that's gonna come in at a one out of five. I think this is a little bit expensive. And based on that rating, it's very expensive compared to some other pre-workouts that we've talked about. Now, as we continue to review more and more pre-workouts, I'm pretty sure that that average kind of number of the price is gonna go up. And as it continues to go up, guys, we will reevaluate kind of the pricing scale. But you know, as of right now, we've done about 42, 43 pre-workout reviews total. Uh, and I think once we get to kind of 100, uh, that'll give me a better understanding of kind of where pricing would land. For me personally though, 224 just seems a little expensive for a pre-workout when there's a lot of other options out there. Now, like I said, guys, that's very subjective. It's kind of whatever you think uh, is fair for you guys. So with that being said, guys, let's jump right into the label ingredient breakdown. We'll pop that up here. Now we start out with a 19.5 gram scoop, which is pretty dang big. You know, if you're thinking about things, you know, most pre-workouts I think are right around like 12 to 15, 19.5 and higher, you know, that that's a pretty good size scoop. Uh, we start out with seven grams of L-citrulline malate. Not a huge fan of citrulline malate just because it is more than likely this is a two to one ratio here. With that being said though, you're still probably gonna get about at least that four grams of pure citrulline, which I'm I'm actually happy with. I think that's up to each individual and whether or not you guys like that citrulline or citrulline mallet. Next up, we have 3.5 grams of beta alanine. You know, research shows 3.2. So interesting number again here, 3.5. You're obviously getting an efficacious dose uh, that's responsible for those beta tingles. Next up, we have 2.5 grams of the betaine and hydrus. Another kind of power, you're gonna help with that power output throughout the workout. That is an efficacious dose. I'd like to see 2.5 grams in any betaine product. Uh, that I see. Next up, 500 milligrams of the acetyl L-carnitine. This is, in this case, the acetyl L-carnitine is dosed in a way that I believe is more of a nootropic, gonna help with that focus and cognition side of things. Now, 500 milligrams, that is a little bit low. Typical dose for that sort of efficacy would be right around like 600, 650, but it's very, very close. And so with that, uh, you know, still a good amount. Next up, we have 300 milligrams of the coconut water powder complex. This is more than likely a hydration added ingredient here. I do like seeing that. I've talked about hydration and how important it is. Uh, it can really make or break a workout if, if you're not, you know, properly hydrated. And this goes back, you know, more than just the day of, it's actually days before is kind of what research shows. So, you know, getting 300 milligrams here without having to take something separate, like a hydration, like a hydrochard, uh, that's kind of nice to see. Next up, the big one, 250 milligrams of the caffeine and hydrous. Now this is a little bit low, I would say for, for me. Uh, some people, 250 is, is the right amount. Uh, others, they want three, four, even 500 milligrams of caffeine, even though that's that's a lot of caffeine to take at one time. 250, I think that's kind of a medium level uh, for most people. So, you know, appeal to the masses and uh, they will come. So next up, we have 250 milligrams of the L-theanine. Now this is interesting. A lot of people are not huge fans of theanine, especially stim junkies. Uh, myself, I don't necessarily feel it too much, 
but this is a one-to-one -one ratio with your caffeine to your theanine, which is very, very unusual. Usually it's like a two-to-one ratio or even less. Some people have, have commented on past videos saying they only want like 50 milligrams at the very most of theanine, uh, even if the caffeine is, you know, three or 400 milligrams. So now what theanine does is it helps kind of create this relaxation uh, kind of feeling within the body. It doesn't take over the stimulant, but it, it kind of balances things out and can kind of taper off that energy so it's not a huge spike. And it's kind of this nice flattening the curve if you will. You know, for me personally, that is a high amount. I have actually haven't seen a pre-workout with a one-to-one -one ratio like that. So it'll be interesting to take it today and uh, give this a go. Next up, we have Vaso 6, the green tea leaf extract at 150 milligrams. Now, this is gonna help with nitric oxide production, uh, which in turn is gonna help with the pumps, uh, among other benefits. Now, this is an interesting dose as well. Research with this Vaso 6 uh, from Compound Solutions who came up with it actually came in at 300 milligrams. That was like the base, 300 milligrams. Obviously people tend to try more than an efficacious dose, but in this case, it's split in half. So it's very interesting to see that. Next up, we have 60 milligrams of the L-Norvaline. Again, gonna help with nitric oxide production uh, and, and increase in the pumps. Again, this is a very low dose here, but still, you know, they're trying to kind of add in multiple different ingredients for the pumps. And then last up, we have 10 milligrams of the black pepper fruit extract. That's gonna help with the absorption of kind of all these ingredients. I like this kind of a label, guys. It's very simple. It has key ingredients, obviously, is it missing a couple things in my opinion? Yes, I think it's missing creatine. I say that pretty much in, well, I do say it in every single pre-workout that doesn't have any creatine. I think there should be creatine in the majority of pre-workouts. I understand why, but for me personally, I am looking for products that kind of incorporate everything so that I'm getting the full benefits of supplementation. Everything on here is fully disclosed. So with that being said, guys, you know, some of these ingredients are a little bit low, I would say, and the theanine really throws me off. That, that's kind of the, the kicker there. I am gonna give this a three out of five. I think it's, like I said, fully disclosed. A lot of the ingredients, the key ones, at least for me, are dosed actually very well. But, you know, when we get to kind of the bottom level of here, you know, for me, the caffeine's a little low, uh, the theanine's very high, and uh, the Vaso 6 and the Norvaline's a little bit low in terms of ingredients. All right, guys, so next up, let's get into the taste. As you guys can see here, this thing is completely sealed. I have not tried this. This just came in the mail the other day, and uh, obviously we're getting to it today. Uh, this does come in one flavor, the gummy bear flavor. It's kind of a you know blue label here. It'll be interesting to try. So let's go ahead and open this up and we'll get into the taste. All right, guys, so as the label kind of says here, this is kind of typical of most uh, pre-workout reviews. They recommend obviously starting with half scoop, assess tolerance, and then kind of go from there. As someone that obviously has taken a lot of pre-workouts, yeah. Uh, we're gonna start off with a full scoop as usual. This does recommend 10 to 14 ounces of water. We are doing 14 ounces of water here and uh, we're gonna do one full scoop. Interesting color here when the uh, color next to the flavor here on the label is blue, but uh, obviously we're getting kind of that fruit punch color here. Give this a nice good shake. All right. Minimal foaming here, as you guys can see. Bottom, very little sediment here on the bottom. And uh, let's give it a nice good taste test. Very interesting flavor profile here. I'm um, trying to kind of figure it out. It does smell like kind of gummy bears, kind of has that gummy bear kind of smell. Obviously the red flavored one, kind of your fruit punch flavor or cherry. It has this kind of cherry flavor, kind of tart, I would say. Not super smooth in terms of, of that because of that tartness. And then you kind of get this like strawberry fruit punch kind of flavor on the, on the very end after that tart kind of disappears. Yeah, and then kind of your sweetness. A little bit of that sweetness. Now the tart's not a bad thing. It's not like a sour gummy bear by any means. It just kind of has this nice tart to it. And overall mixability, taste, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I would honestly drink this a good amount of times. So aside from that guys, uh, I'm gonna smash the rest of this back. I'm gonna go downstairs. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go for a run first and then I'll come back, do an upper body kind of uh, body weight kind of workout and uh, we'll come back, we'll talk about the effects. We'll go from there. We'll see you guys here soon. All right guys, just finished up that hour workout uh, down in the garage. Went for a about an 18 minute run, just over almost two mile run and uh, that felt pretty good. I didn't get the beta tingles. In terms of effects with the uh, pre-fierce here, didn't get the beta tingles. Um, I did feel, and I still do kind of feel like this kind of very 
slight energy, okay? If you're a stim junkie, probably wouldn't recommend this pre-workout. If you're someone that is new to pre-workouts or is looking for something a little stronger than like a cup of coffee or something, I would recommend going with this pre-fierce. I think the theanine really brings down that stimulant kind of feeling that a lot of us uh, know and look for. But like I said, if you're kind of new to pre-workouts, I think this would be a good way to kind of entry level kind of way of uh, pre-workout because it has solid ingredients in here. Uh, pump wise, I felt pretty good. It, it's always difficult to kind of find the pump per se when you're doing at home workouts. I don't have dumbbells. I don't have anything like that. Really the only thing I'm using is body weight and uh, bands. That's it. I don't have any special machines, anything like that. I wish I did. But uh, in this case, I, I just don't have those things accessible to me. So I have to do a lot of body weight. Uh, it's a lot of high interval sort of training and uh, quick, quick, you know, turnaround. No, very little rest, you know, uh, at the most one minute. Overall, you know, I felt pretty good on this pre. Like I said, for me personally, I need something a little bit stronger. Uh, 250 caffeine. You know, I, I think for me personally, I just need more. I need less theanine. I need more caffeine. I need some more stims in here. You know, aside from that though, I, I felt pretty good. It felt like a pretty good workout. Um, you know, it wasn't an overly hot day here in Austin. Still got a really good sweat as you guys can see here. And uh, overall, in terms of my rating, I'm gonna give it a three out of five because for me personally, I just feel like I need more stim. I just need more stim uh, and that's a personal preference. There's gonna be a lot of people out there, like I said, that don't take pre-workout as much as you know myself or, or a stim junkie kind of person. And this would work actually really well for them. So I would say it's kind of 50-50, you know, for your advanced lifters, heavy, you know, pre-workout junkies, probably not the go-to for entry level mid-range. Uh, and something that I think is very clean uh, energy, I think this is a really good option in terms of that. So uh, make sure you guys head on over to their website, again, truefierce.com, and uh, you can snag up some of their products. Again, a big shout out to them for sending this over to me. So with that being said, guys, hope you're all staying safe out there and, uh, you know, quarantining, as they say. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe and bell for notifications. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.